again, Bernadette, and today I've been asked to talk about harmony, some of the harmonies that I use. Um, one of my uh, subscribers asked me, he said, if, was it okay if we're playing the harmony of an A7 chord in the left hand to play an A7 triad, which would probably be A, C, and C sharp and G. Well, yes, it might be, and it might not be. It's one of those questions um, that really depends on the melody, that what you're playing, and the complexity of the harmonies that you want to put behind it. So, uh, uh, specifically, um, his comment was in Strangers in the Night. So, if, if we look at the melody of Strangers in the Night, in, in F major, it has a lot of F, F major going on here. And now it kind of changes. So it really centers around there, which means that it's it you need to do something a little bit more with it. So yes, uh, you could if you wanted to be very simple. Um, a simple harmony would be just to put, uh, say, an, an A and an, um, a C against it. Maybe uh, make this a F and A, and then you have... And there we have a G minor 7th. And we can just take that down. The 7th goes down to the 3rd. And you now have a C major 9th. So you have C. shows you uh, some things you can do. Now, if we're going to get a little fancier, why not, to, since we're using a kind of jazz harmonies on this sort of song that kind of has a jazzy feel, jazz players will use all kinds of interesting chords. So let's start off with maybe an F major sixth. What's the sixth of F major? Now, how do you work that out? It's really easy because you go F and count up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be the D. So here we go. So as it turns out, the melody note is an F. So we're going to play, it will be an F major sixth in its first inversion with A as the, as the um, bottom note in the right hand at least. Now you could do something like but what about this? So putting a diminished chord. You can do that too, and that will help you when you have to use scales. So that would be a major sixth chord, and then the diminished of the um, the fourth. So that would be B flat diminished in this case. So F6 B flat diminish. F6 C sharp diminished. So it'll, it'll go on like, like that using those notes. Um, so if we go back to Strangers in the Night here. in F major again with the major seventh and the ninth. So it's F major ninth. Back to F6. F ninth. F sixth again. And back to the F sixth. 
So that kind of helps you to see how I sometimes will put my, my songs together using these, um, what are generally called fat chords, fat harmonies, because they're so rich and full. And within just a small phrase, there is, you know, so much movement. <laughs> just going from your F major 7th to F major 6th. That's an F9 and an F7 again. Um, F6, F7. And then it's simply uh, using the melody notes to make the chords what they are. So using the notes of the, I guess the F major triad and the melody helps you. Uh, it changes the harmonies, exactly. <laughs> It's a G, um, I'll explain this one to you. As I said before, it's a G um, seventh going to, so that would be a five or two going to five. Um, so that would be two, it'll be the, the G minor seventh going to the So this is all very uh, technical, and you can buy fake books. Um, I know that a lot of music has not been uh, arranged with these chords in mind, um, but you know it is possible to play beautiful music using the the jazz chords and the system of working out jazz chords. Um, but I don't know whether this is exactly what you're looking for. Um, please let me know down in the comments whether this is the kind of thing that you would like to see more of or whether you'd like something a little <clears throat> more um, simple because there are so many different levels of playing that it's, it's really, um, the options are endless. So uh, please let me know what you would like um, and I hope this has helped you to understand what kind of things you can do with harmonies. Um, remembering that you can, it kind of fits itself in if you play the melody as the top note of your chord, whatever that chord may happen to be. So I hope this has helped you and uh, please let me know and have a lovely day. Thank you.